All right, guys, guess who I am? Did you guess? Do I look like my logo? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Melon by Nail, and welcome to my third vlog. Quick little healing update on my tattoo. It's now been officially one week since I got her. I took off the band-aids and she's looking so cute and so good. I love how she literally just like kind of peeks out. Um, like, ooh, there she is. And yeah, she's gonna start peeling a little bit in her peeling era. And, and it was at this moment that Misha's brain has sadly left the room. <laughs> okay, now let's go. I'm so excited because this next set I'm working on, finally, I get to do a Hunter Hunter set! So for this set, the client wanted it to be a Gone and Kilua set. Um, so she sent me this picture that I split up for the thumbs and then she just said, you know, go crazy with giving Gone side as much elements from him and Kilua side as much elements from him. So we got the flames, we got the hunter numbers, it's gonna have glow, and then my favorite is gonna be these pinkies with this scene here of them. And I'm trying to make the silhouettes glow, so it'll be super cute. And yeah, I'm hella excited to make it. Let's get to it. Can we just appreciate how gorgeous this looks? I custom layered some gels here to make this metallic green effect and i don't know she looking pretty cute to me here it is with the flames on it and now i'm gonna take you guys with me for one of my favorite but nerve-wracking parts of checking out if my glow was successful so let's go i'm bringing my uv flashlight and i gotta go to a dark place so i'm actually gonna go to my bathroom so here we are now in my bathroom so Let's check this out. I got my UV light. We're gonna just, and yes, I did put it on top of one of my, eye Ooh, my eyeshadow palette is dirty. I gotta clean this, but anyways, um, we're charging it up with UV and here we go. Moment of truth. <sighs> I'm shook. This orange is so vivid. So I think we could say we slayed that. And that glow pigment is actually from Techno Glow. Really love how pigmented and vivid their glows are. So, shout out to Techno Glow for helping me slay this glow nail. And we got the Kilua side going, gang, gang. I think I popped off with these. They are so cute. And let me just show you. Let me show you them in the dark. We are once again here in my bathroom, charging these bad boys up. And the reveal because besties that grow together, glow together. <laughs> Get it, see what I did? Cause gone and cute, okay, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Look at the chaos, but it was necessary because I really think popped off with the snail. He's baking in the light. Gotta show you guys when he's done. All right, you guys ready to see him? You guys ready, you guys ready, ready? Boom, boom, it's gone. Of course, one more thing. Boom, the fire glows. And just check this out, the gone side all together. Minus the pinky, the pinky's different, remember? But like, anyways, the gone side together. I may have snapped, I may have popped off. Good morning, I have my morning green tea in my favorite Kurobi rug. Did I just say Kurobi? In my favorite Kurobi cup is because I was looking at my Rockley rug. Sup, baby? Um, and gonna work on, actually, you know what I'm gonna, you know what I need to do today? I need to make a behind the scenes video. Like one of my one minute behind the scenes of how I made a set video. That or I make like a one nail how I painted this character tutorial. Also my goal today, my stretch goal today is to see if I can finish this whole set. I have three more characters to paint. Character painting takes me a long time, but it's worth it. And after like three hours, 
like two and a half to three hours, I did it. It took me that long to make a little one minute behind the scenes little video for real and TikTok. Like, this work for just a, such a short video, but it's worth it. It's fun to do for me. And here's my uh, little costume because I decided to do the Shikamaru set behind the scenes. So, you know, I had to pull up with my little Hayden Leaf Village swag over here. All right, I think now I'm going to continue to work on the Hunter Hunter set or I'll walk on the treadmill. I don't know what I should do first. You know what, I should probably eat lunch. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... <clears throat> Hey, what is with this frog in my throat right now? Is it because it's literally... I haven't even looked at the time. It is 1.38 a.m. What the heck? Okay, anyways, anyways. So I'm going to design the next set now for my client. They want a diamond tier set, and I'm, I'm so excited. They want a set that features... Ichigo and Orihime, one of my favorite tips ever ah, from Bleach, if you didn't know. Bleach was like, okay, Bleach wasn't my first anime, but it was like one of my earliest gateway animes when I first started getting to anime. Yeah, Ichigo and Orihime is like one of my OG OTPs, so I'm so psyched to design the set. I'm gonna show you guys like a speed through of how I go about designing. And then I'll probably do like a voiceover so you can kind of understand what my thought process is while you see the speed up video. So let's get into it. Hello, it's voiceover Misha. And to start, I always go to Google, my best friend for looking for ideas. And one more thing to note, I always only look for official artwork. I will never take someone's fan art. We don't participate in art theft around here, guys. But anyways, I finally remembered one of my favorite scenes from Bleach where Orihime is saying goodbye to Ichigo pretty early in the series. And I definitely want to include that one in the set because it's such an important part in the story of their relationship. And it's a whole set about their love. So of course I had to include it. I also grabbed this official artwork of them as adults and this one was a little tricky to try to fit on two small short almond nails so i had to do a little bit of editing to kind of make or he made a little bit higher up so that enough of her can show up in the nail too and then another thing you'll see me do eventually is i actually am going to make all of the images black and white to give the entire set more of a manga feel i guess i just felt really inspired after remembering that part of the series and it was all manga panels, so I thought, like, how romantic. Let me just make the entire set look like manga panels. And another reason for the manga vibes for the set was that I knew I wanted to incorporate glow for the set. And manga glow looks amazing. And now I'm adding that very special quote from Orihime when she says goodbye to Ichigo. At least an abridged version of it, where basically she says, If only I had five lives, I'd fall in love with the same person five times. Then for the rest of the accent nails, I was thinking about what color to do. And I figured since Ichigo and Orihime's hair are orange, I might as well do the complementary color which is blue so i opted for this sky blue which i think looks really romantic and pretty and at first i was like okay let me do like aura cloud looking maybe chrome hearts on it so that's what you'll see me working on right now but as you know through design process there's many iterations and things change and after a while i was like mm, this is not really the vibe i want so i decided to change it up and i had the amazing idea of being such an ichihime fan to incorporate the red string of fate in here because you know they're like fated to be destined to be and we got it is canon baby sorry to all the ichiruki fans out there but yeah i wanted the focus on the other nails to be more about the string of fate so i decided to erase the clouds and the chrome hearts just to make it less busy then finally i write in all the details so my client can see and i also decided to make the red string of fate glow as well and boom yeah that's pretty much my design process honestly i want this set for myself ah, it's so good okay, okay okay i hope i hope she likes it i'm gonna send it to her and then see um if she likes it if there's anything she wants to change any tweaks and yeah we'll go from there okay guys i'm hype so if you ordered a set for me before i love you so much you're literally the light of my life and one of the reasons why i am so happy in this life you know that the package that i shipped to you i've been handwriting my name address and your names and addresses which is um definitely what's the word i'm looking for special but you know it doesn't look as um 
cool and professional if I had real labels. So I finally decided that it was time to take some action and get a real label maker. So I did and ta-da. Okay, also ignore my messy desk. I, I really keep, I should keep my like actual computer desk a lot neater, but anyways, this is the printer I got. It's called Munbin? Munbin. I got it in this cute, it's it's supposed to be green. It doesn't really look green to me, but whatever. Um, Cause obviously my favorite color. And I tested it out and oh my God, look. I'm hiding my address, but look. I have a real label now. I can actually put legit cute labels on all of your packages instead of handwriting. Um, although, you know, meaningful and cute doesn't look as, as cute and clean as having a real label, so. From now on, all packages will have official address labels for me. Yay! And now you shall witness the first ever official Melon Bin Nails label for packages going on a package. This is history, guys. This is history being made. I finally finished the set! Yes! I feel like I should be playing Departure right now. Literally, that's the only thing that was playing in my head as I was making this entire set. I'm gonna take nice pictures tomorrow in the sun, and I'll probably do the glow pictures today because it's right night time and best time to do glow pictures, but yeah! Okay, photos of the Hunter x Hunter set are done. Time to edit. Oh god, okay, apologies for how tired I look, but I'm really excited to show you guys something that just came in the mail today. They are my new nail cards. I don't know if that's the right name for them, but basically what it is is where I put the sticker and mount all the nails for my clients to give to them. You've probably seen, um, or if you haven't seen on some of my videos and packing videos before, I would just have my nails mounted on this plain white cardstock card which i literally cut by myself with a little paper cutter like one by one and then just mount them on and, and put them here like that and you know it does the job that's what i've been using but uh i just i you know it was time for an upgrade so i designed these and oh my god i'm so they look they came out so good i am so excited to now start putting these in here instead of these plain white boring ones so bye bye boom upgrade and not only does it just look a lot more beautiful in having you know my logo or my name here and then also shows which which hand is which the right nails will go here and the left hand nails will go here they also come in this specific size so i don't have to go now and spend time cutting them <laughs> individually so i'm so excited ah they look so good i think i said the word excited like 10 times right there so uh Sorry, but clearly you can tell I am excited for them. And I just want to shout out my friend Deju, aka Nekori Nails, who actually recommended the company Next Day Flyers, who I ordered these from. They were able to get this custom size for me, and the print came out so beautiful. So shout out to Deju for the recommendation. I will definitely be ordering more of my stuff from Next Day Flyers moving forward, too. I finished the set. Bye. Now I'm gonna um, get it ready to stage to take photos tomorrow.
it's 1 30 a.m i just spent the last two hours yolo doing an entire set and i finished and it's a simpler set than what i usually do meaning you know what i usually do is like anime sets and this set is not an anime set at all like there's not even any characters but the funny thing is that although executing it was not difficult designing the set was so hard for me and let me show you why so here she is definitely not my usual kind of set clearly since most of my sets are anime and also like cap characters and whatnot on it but my client wanted korean inspired nails and specifically said no characters she likes pink like milky pink and sent like inspo photos that had charms on it and she also wanted floral so it literally took me so long to come up with a design for this set because like i said this is not my usual style and actually my biggest Ooh. weakness is designing like korean inspired or like simpler type nails if there's characters on it boom i'm just slapping the characters on i'm pulling elements from the anime boom boom bam i got my design no problem but this kind of design <laughs> took me so long but anyway executing it didn't take me too, as long as my anime set so yeah i finished it all in one night and honestly i am pleasantly surprised at how cute it came out here are the two first official melon bun nails nail cards mounted with two sets oh my god it just looks so much better to have it branded like this ah, i'm so happy reached the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way through you are the coolest here are all my social medias that you can follow for more of my work and see what i'm up to day to day make sure to like subscribe leave a comment down below and turn on notifications and i will see you guys at the next vlog Bye. hey guys what's up it's melon Man nails and welcome to my third six um, what was I saying? What was I gonna say? Okay, now let's go.